This is the vlog for December 25th, 2018, and tomorrow will be better. Now, I'm not actually ending the uh, vlog right now. That is how I have traditionally ended all of my vlogs, uh, except for the first couple, I think. Um, but I really do mean it. I really do believe in, in believing in tomorrow. I, I think all the unknown possibilities of our futures should be a delight. They should not be something to fear. They should be something to cherish. Um, and I talked yesterday about Christmas past and Christmas present, and today I want to talk a little bit about Christmas yet to come. Because as much as I have enjoyed Christmas in the past, and I cherish the, the wonderful memories I have of Christmas with my family, visiting my grandparents in Sioux City, Iowa, when I we, we lived in Minnesota, and for quite a few years while we lived out here, I now have something else to look forward to. I have little Isla getting a year older every year and seeing the wonder in her eyes at Christmas time. And if that isn't something worth celebrating, I don't know what is. And I can't wait to do Christmas shopping for her. It's going to be a lot more fun than just picking up some gift cards. I want to figure out what she likes. I want to possibly even introduce her into things that she might not know she'll like. Because that was one of the things I really liked about Christmas. Getting what I wanted. Getting, you know, presents that I had asked for or desperately needed as much as any eight-year-old kid needs a giant transforming dinosaur that turns into a city and a battle cruiser. I never did get Trypticon from my parents, but I did finally buy one, um, I think last year, when they made a new one. But uh, it's, it's all the unknowns. It's not knowing what she'll like about Christmas. It's about finding out, exploring what she is like, who she grows into over the years, and maybe my sister will have another kid or more kids, um, and I'll be able to spend Christmas with all of them and, and all of their lives. I look forward to it. So, on that note, the thing that I was working on the day before uh, Christmas Eve that uh, I think I might have mentioned I was sending over with my parents was a poem. Uh, I got the idea for it the week we were in D.C. I had a lot to think about at that point. I had lost my job three weeks previously, and um, I just wanted to do as much writing as I could, and I've stumbled with that at times, but I'm still enjoying it when I, you know, can figure something out to do to write. I'm a little bit stuck right now, but I'm hoping that tomorrow when I go to get coffee down at Starbucks, I'm going to bring my laptop and uh, get that old creative juice flowing. But I wrote a poem, and little Isla, um, it's 2018, you are only one month old right now, but if YouTube sticks around for a long time, I hope that you can find me doing this right now in the future, whatever that strange, unknowable future happens to be. I hope you know that I love you, and your mom and your dad love you, all of your grandparents love you, and I wrote this for you because I knew that you would wonder someday what it was all like before you were around and what it was like when you were really little. So I'm going to read it to you right now. It's called The Morning You Were Born. The moon was almost full that day, the morning you were born. The process took a bit of time. Your mother was forlorn. Your father frowned and fretted lots and may have sworn an oath, while all the nurses, staff, and docs gave comfort to them both. The time of year was autumn, the day that you arrived. Your mom and dad were both blissful and very sleep-deprived. They brought you home and settled in, then hosted everyone, 
Your grand folks cooked, made trips, and laughed. It sure was lots of fun. The air was cold, but then it warmed the first week you were here. The weather had its ups and downs, and so did you, my dear. You slept, you ate, you cooed and cried, but all of us agreed that you were simply beautiful, an angel, we decreed. You've only been here for a bit, but you have all our love. Your family here on planet Earth and those watching above. You are a gift, and if you try, remember this is true. Your dreams, your triumphs, and your joys will surely come to you. Poetry was something that I learned mostly in college. I did a little bit of it in high school, but a lot of my um, curriculum revolved around poetry classes that I took to fulfill my major requirement. Poetry isn't something that comes naturally to me. And I've only wrote a few pieces that people genuinely enjoyed and gave me a claim for. But when my sister called me this morning with tears in her eyes, telling me how happy she was with the poem and how she wished that I was there, that was an amazing feeling. And Isla, I hope that someday, hopefully, if you find this far enough in the future, you've already had this experience, but I hope that someday you find that you can do something that people will tell you how wonderful you are and it will make you feel the same way that I feel. But we'll see. There's all kinds of possibilities out there. Not all of them are good. And some of the ones that you really want are a lot of work that you'll have to try very hard to get. But I still believe that tomorrow will be better.